Okay, this video is about how to fifth boot of Pentaboot Debian 2 with Windows 10, Ubuntu, Debian, and Linux Mint. First of all, the first thing you have to do is uh, I suggest to download to create a folder on the downloads here. Then we're gonna go to to before make sure you got a a bootable Windows 10 DVD. Uh, USB stick in case if you need to restart the system and uh, backup of your files through a, through a external hard drive those as us to be safe I know how what I'm doing so I know how it's going to be everything's going to be right but in case you make any mistakes we're going to be able to fix it so this is the web page of the dev one that one is a fork of Debian without the system D and uh, the release now is, is based on on Debian stretch so to make this video short so I'm going to use a torrent option here when you download the torrent, the torrent option here you have to pay attention you have to pay attention uh, the software you want to download because it's a huge it's a huge image here huge so you have to know which one is the the eyes over here so so I don't know if this the problem is there is no name there's no name here to see which one is the ISO. I know this one is not. No, that's the embed. That's not the, that's not the one. Oh, desktop live. Okay. And this is a virtual. Oh, okay. Now I, I'm going to use the desktop live here. Click OK here. The torrent is the recommended way to use because it's more uh, when you download operating system files, you want to make sure it's not uh, corrupted, the download is not broken. So I'm going to show how you download, how you verify. To verify, you're going to use this software here to verify the ISO. The link is going to be on the video description, and I'm going to use uh, a portable USB drive using uh, Rofos. So I'm going to pause the video until the download is completed. Okay, the download is completed. I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this. We're going to use, we're going to verify the image. So, delete this. So, when you download, um, when you download, um, when you download the, the, the ISO from using uh, the torrent. Let me see. Use the, the, the torrent that's created the, um, a folder, and this folder has uh, the image. We give some information here. So everything you need to know. You're gonna, we're gonna use the refactor uh, installer. The dev one will come with the repacking style, so we're gonna use that one. So we're gonna use that one. So we're gonna verify the ISO. We're gonna use. Uh, we're gonna use. Uh, we're gonna use. Uh, we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna use uh, this software here. 
the link will be on the video description so it's gonna be uh, the, let's find this uh, shot of if it's like so, so browse downloads dev one oh there is true image here this is a 32 bit so we're gonna use 64 bit here so we're gonna use the 64 bits this one here we're gonna copy this and we're gonna verify to make sure everything's right So now we just have to do is paste here and click verify. So it says hash match. So that's good. So I'll close this. I'm gonna close this. Now we're gonna use uh, gonna use Rufus. So what we're gonna do here? We're gonna connect the flash drive here. Connect the flash drive, close here, click select here to select the, the ISO. So make sure you get the 64 bit here. BIOS and Wi Fi, that's good. So just have to do is click start, click yes, ok, ok. So I'm going to pause this to finish. So now what you have to do here is, is click close and uh, the ISO it has to, to show here EF, EFI here if you're going to install in, in UFI mode. So now you just have to do is reboot the computer, restart, and uh, you gotta keep the USB flash drive in the drive in the on the connect to the computer, and you have to press on my computer. I have to press F12 to get to the boot menu. Okay, I'm gonna boot to the Kingston that data traveler. Sometimes this happens, you have to turn off and turn back on. And keep pressing the F12 here. So, boot to Kingston. So, Debian Live. I could put to RAM, I forgot to use that option.
that's the dev one xfce desktop environment so it, it has the information here about uh, about the release notes so uh, I'm, do, I'm interested to get to the install here That's what I, I believe is root. Okay, yes. Okay, um Say that uh, we install the the live USB to the to the hard drive. We continue. We continue. Okay, I'm gonna okay. okay, I'm gonna use uh, the part to create the, the partition here. de parte so on the unlocated space here I'm going to click new and I'm going to use uh, 20 gigabyte here so I'm going to use I'm going to run this which I see my trend is good so the name is gonna be that one that one click add click apply here apply Click close here. So now we're gonna use. Oh, I, let me let me pass this here. one. Okay, now uh, I already, we already have the EFI system partition. We already have the the swap partition. I'm just gonna use that, this partition here to install that one. It's gonna be SDA eight. So I'm gonna close this. So SDA eight. That's why we install. Click OK. It's gonna be ext4, okay. Uh, 
Ah, não, vamos aí usar ROM Partition. I have to select the swap partition force here. I'm gonna exit, I'm gonna start it, and you guys select uh, use sudo. Click uh, continue here. Click continue. Whatever I have the partition, so. Click OK here. Click OK. Skip this step. To use for installation of the SDA8. SD4. I'm going to click on the swap partition here. Swap is uh, SDA5. Click OK. So we're gonna we're gonna use the EFI partition that I already have. I'm gonna open it to be on dev SD8, SD4. Home will, be, will not be a separate partition. Just click proceed installation. This far. Yes, yes. So to save the time, I'm gonna pause the installation, the the video. The installation is so quick. So um, stop the loading, finish the installation. Shoot with the open and continue to proceed with about install boot loader. <coughs> So the host name, <coughs> username. <coughs> so I'm gonna start my account here. I'm gonna pause the installation. Oh, I'm gonna pause the video. I'm 
Okay, the installation is complete. Remember to remove the media. Okay. Now I'm gonna restart the computer. Restart. And I have to remove the. Also see the black screen here. I will remove flash drive. And this is the dev one, Look very nice. So I have a Linux Mint, Debian, Ubuntu. I'm missing the, the Windows. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how you get the Windows on the GNU group here. Just press Enter. So, I'm gonna log in. I'm gonna pause for login. Okay, now I'm gonna open the terminal here. And we have to use the command sudo update grub. This is happened with uh, with uh, Ubuntu too when I did installation. This is uh, from uh, UI 5 firmware, sometimes it's crazy. So I'm gonna. Pause the video so it don't take that long. Okay, it already found the, the Windows Boot Manager. Debian, Ubuntu. All right, so now I should have the option to boot into uh, into Windows. So I'm gonna boot uh, into Windows, Windows Boot Manager. Okay, this is Windows. Okay, uh, my next video is going to be how to how to let's see how to exa boot or uh, six boot the pin fifteen that eight. With uh, Windows 10, Debian, Dev1, Linux Mint, and Ubuntu. So, if you like this video, please share, subscribe, and uh, give a like there. See you in the next video.